Haven't we all wondered how tall the tallest tower is? Or how deep the deepest hole ever drilled is? How much does the largest ship ever build weigh? In this video, we're going to answer one of these captivating questions. Today, we'll talk about the deepest hole ever dug by humanity. To give you a reference, the Bingham Canyon open pit mine in Utah, which is hardly 3% of the deepest hole ever dug, can fit the entire Burj Khalifa, and still have 100 meters left. Let's start from the very beginning, or rather at the very end. Around 1.8 meters, or 6 feet deep, is the average depth of a grave. Three more meters down, at 13 feet, the tomb of Pharaoh Tutankhamun was discovered. Further down, at 20 feet, is the maximum depth up to which metal detectors can pick up signals. The Nile crocodiles, who dig the deepest burrows, have their homes at a depth of 39 feet. The Paris catacombs, where the remains of around 6 million people are secured, appear at around 66 feet below the surface. Going deeper down, almost thrice the depth of the catacombs, at 196 feet, we have the depth of the deepest pool in the world, we have the depth of the deepest pool in the world, the newly opened deep dive pool experience in Dubai. Less than twice that depth, we find the usual depth where governments bury their nuclear wastes, at 328 feet. Fascinatingly, we have the world's deepest metro station in Kyiv, at 346 feet. Even more surprising is the fact that the deepest roots of any tree were found deeper, at around 400 feet, which belonged to a fig tree in Africa. At 720 feet, we reach the deepest point of the deepest river, the River Congo of Africa. Going further down, we find the deepest train tunnel, at 787 feet, which connects the two islands of Honshu and Hokkaido. 1,001 feet down, and you could be obliterated by the B-82 warhead of the USA. What is even more interesting is that the deepest hole ever dug by hand is deeper. The Woodingdean water well dug back in 1862, is the deepest well ever dug. Way deeper than that is the Bingham Canyon open pit mine in Utah, which is at a staggering depth of 4 kilometers below the Earth's surface. Taking rock and roll to the next level, the band Agonizer had the deepest concert ever performed, at 1.4 kilometers below the surface of the Earth. If we go down 13,000 feet, we will find the deepest parts of the deepest mine in the world, also in South Africa. It takes almost an hour to reach the bottom from the surface. At a staggering depth of 29,028 feet, we could find the tip of the world, Mount Everest, if it were to be underground. Going even deeper than that, at 36,069 feet, we find the bottom of Mariana Trench, the deepest pit of the ocean. How far have we managed to dig down the Earth? Astoundingly, humans have managed to dig much further down than even this. The second deepest hole ever dug by us humans, the Kola Superdeep Borehole. It was dug by the Soviet Union and it was an attempt to reach the Earth's core. They had only reached one-third of the way when the temperature already exceeded 180 degrees and the equipment stopped functioning. Though the second deepest, it is only 23 centimeters wide. You will be flabbergasted to hear that the deepest hole dug by humanity to date is Z44 Chavio, which has a mind-boggling depth of 40,603 feet. That is the same as stacking 15 Burj Khalifas on top of each other. That's 14 times the depth of the Bingham Canyon. In conclusion, although this is an extreme feat, the Earth's crust extends down to 229,658 feet or 70,000 meters below the Earth's surface. We have hardly covered anything when it comes to reaching the Earth's core, which is around 6,371 kilometers beneath the Earth's surface. For reference, if the distance from the Earth's surface to the center were to be measured on the ground, it would be from Delhi, India to Andorra La Vela, Andorra. We as a species, have covered 0.18% of the distance. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel for more such interesting videos.